Hi everyone! Last week I made a video where I took a chord progression and I played each line of the progression on cello and then I played each line on different instruments. So it was uh, bass on the bottom, cello in the middle, violin on top. And it was kind of interesting to just compare the difference between having three of the same instruments playing a chord progression and three different instruments. Um, just hearing the way that they blended was kind of interesting. Um, at the end of that, I said I was going to show how to get the same difference of timbre that I got between the three instruments, but using only one instrument, my cello. So, to do this, I'm going to use pitch shifting. When you pitch yourself up an octave, it's kind of humorous. You sound like a mouse, and <laughs> it's a good way to get people to laugh. Um, also, it turns out that when you pitch shift yourself up an octave, it kind of makes your cello sound like a violin. I hope no violinists watching this are offended, but, um, I mean, we'll, we'll check this out. And my cello will sound a little bit like a bass. So, to do these things, I'm using pitch shifting, but it turns out there's a way to do this exact same thing, but without using any effects at all. Instead, I'm going to change the play rate. So here's, here's what I mean by that. Let's say I were to record something. And then turn its play rate down. I'll go down by seven semitones. Now it'll sound like this. sounds like a bass, except it's way too low and it's way too slow. So, hmm, what to do about that? Well, you know, when I recorded this, if I had played it faster and in a higher key, then when I did the, the play rate thing where I slowed it down, I could, it would be back to the correct key. It would be, I could get it so it would be back to, a, to that key. But that would be kind of tricky to figure out how much faster do I need to play in order to make it so that when I shift myself down, I'll be at the right tempo. I mean, that's just a lot to figure out, right? But turns out there's a way to do it. What if you... What if you turn this play rate up by seven semitones and then you played along with that? Okay, so now what I recorded over here, if I turn the play rate of this down by seven semitones, it should be back to the original key and the original tempo. So let's have a listen to that. And there you have it. Um, it. I sounded like a bass, but I was in the right key and tempo and everything. And yeah, so that's, it's kind of not really that useful to be honest, but it's just sort of fun to play around with. And I'm glad that I could share this. So I hope you found this interesting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.